Today's adventure brings me to the Lakeland Antique Mall. Sean Clark, this is not the backside of water, it's the backside of Sean Clark. It's also here with me. He's excited to go in there. I've always wanted to see this place. Always, what's the day today? April 3rd, Monday. April you want to do the intro? You should pretend, pretend, pretend you're me. Welcome everyone, Sean LeClark here. <laughs> <laughs> As of this day, Monday, April 3rd. 2000. 2023. Oh, 2023. Our adventure begins here at the Antique Mall in Lakeland. Very Florida. nice. And uh, that's about all I got. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Sean the Clark here. Sean the Clark. We are gonna we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go eat at a southern buffet restaurant that World of Micah showed me last time I was in Lakeland. Mm. And we've already checked in, dropped our bags off. We're staying at the Grand Floridian. I almost said California for you. The Grand Floridian tonight. Yes. And we're just gonna see where the day goes. I'm inviting you to join me and Sean the Clark. Sean the Clark in the house. Shall you? Yeah. You almost didn't even want to do the intro. You're in such a hurry to get over here and I see this see place. Stuff. I want to buy stuff. Yeah. I want to. How are you gonna take all this back? On, how you, if you well, buy a bunch of stuff, how are you gonna take it back on the plane with you? This is this is uh, yeah. This is gonna. I may have my good friend Adam ship me some. <laughs> Look at this, there's a dinosaur right here. Oh, well, that's coming with me. You're gonna take that one with the, yeah. with the, with the, uh, the bunny ears? You're saying there's a lot of, a lot of muskiness. Oh, oh my god. So there's a lot of stuff I'm in already there. feeling overwhelmed. Because of the goofy staring at you, or? No, just because of the, I, it's like, naturally I'd vinyl. want to start going through vinyl, but I'm like, I got time to go through all this. There is an overload of Disney stuff in here. Check out Sorcerer Mickey. Look at this cabin right here. Oh, this looks like an old Ferris wheel ride vehicle. We've got the skeletons in there. And check out some of these old movie posters. Supernatural. Boris Karloff in Voodoo Island. You can get a Coke and a burger. There's also a ride vehicle over there and the planners. Peanut guy. Now, I've been here before and over here there's usually a lot of theme park stuff but they have like removed a lot of it. Now there's just furniture back here. I don't know. I don't know why but there's like furniture back over in this corner as opposed to the theme park stuff that used to be back over in here. Here are some ponies from a carousel. Take a look up here. There's Donald and there's like a very scary creature popping out of the side of this ride vehicle as well. Old Dairy Queen's on. You know whenever I walk around places like this I'm almost like sensory overload. I just don't really know like I feel like I never buy anything because there's just so much to look at but if it's just like one or two things like this I'll probably buy something but I just I just there's just so much to see it's like like I said sensory overload no oh, I never realized that there was a Vanna White doll we'll take a look at these kind of creepy old Mickeys down here it's like the old style Mickey oh, look at Donald right there with the cowboy hat on a couple different Donalds over there Donald looks pretty demented yeah, yeah that's like four thousand dollars for the whole top of splash there or the whole the top looks broken though yeah, I think it broke off Man, they got a lot of splash stuff in there. Yeah. Looking for trouble? Okay, this is a rare one. Stories of Uncle Remus right here. With Bear Fox, Bear Rabbit, Bear Bear. Yeah. 135. And, and if you wanted to hear his stories, you know, before they canceled his stories, you know, he used to tell great stories and now they, they don't Do you have it. a record player? They don't, yeah, yeah. You gonna buy it? I want to. Hey, you want some uh, soap on a rope? You want some ears? Soap on a rope ears? You like, no. you like The Walking Dead, right? You're the biggest fan of Walking Dead? Uh, so Crystals is basically the Florida version of a, uh, what's the little sliders? What are they called? Uh, White Castle. Oh. It's like a, it's like the Florida's version of a White Castle, Crystals. Oh, I never ate it. Crystal. There's even a <laughs> exclusive. We just were totally. So right over here is some uh, HHN stuff that they have kind of over in this area. And evidently this was like something they had at uh, the, the Hollywood store, Williams and Hollywood Prop Shop. Yeah, scooping Sam over here, Mrs. Dumpty, but they have like uh, a lot of the ghoulish creatures and props and items from Universal Orlando, including that spider right up top there. And this like sickle and the skeleton. Please don't step over. If you want some Shrek 3D glasses, there's some down there as well. Oh, yeah, the movie, that's you know. gone, right? Is Shrek 3D gone? I don't even know. Yeah, they replaced it, they replaced it with uh, uh, in California, they replaced it with the, what's what's the movie that Jack Black does the panda Kung Fu yeah, Panda. Kung Fu Panda. That's yeah. The, yeah. Thinking of California. I was thinking. I was thinking California. Yeah. They still have it here. I have no idea. I haven't been in a while. Yeah, I got a little Mary Blair s Small World reproduction up top there as well. Yeah. Got the Troopers. Oh, there you go. For ninety-five dollars, you can get this Polynesian style lamp from the Poly. We should see if they have something from Grand Floridian because that's where we're staying, and then we could just buy it and take return it back to its roots. Or we could take the one we buy, replace the one in our oh. room, 
and, and they'll never know. Oh, they do have a Grand Floridian item here. This is the the the, the photo of the her, she's riding the bike with the Duffy Bear, and it's not a slice of pizza she's holding. It's almost like a handkerchief she's wearing. This used to be in the Grand Floridian, and it is two hundred and seventy nine dollars. Hidden Mickey art piece. Where's the Hidden Mickey on there? Hmm. I don't see the Hidden Mickey. So what item are you really looking for most at? What I've really been kind of looking for in May is into stargazing and all that stuff. Yeah. She's looking for a good telescope. Like a small one, like, a decent size? Something that's got Something that'll fit power. in your luggage? Something's got power. What, Dude, hey. What this, about this? This is. <laughs> what about this? It's only 3K. Yeah. Um, Perfect. Do you think? Hold on. Let me see the, the yeah. made of this. Oh, that um, is a big Disneyland hotel in Anaheim banner. Check out up here. So you got... Disneyland retirement. This banner right here from the Disneyland oh, Hotel. Oh wow! It's huge, right? Oh yeah. That's from your area. Yeah, what's Anaheim. that doing here? Did you bring it with you? Uh, no. Yeah. Five hundred dollars. You can get this Autopia long sleeve project team back back patch on the shirt there for four ninety nine. There's also a lot of dapper Mickey popcorn buckets here too. But I've heard of Goofy's. You know, he's got a Goofy's flight flight school. There's Donald up there in a plane as well. Oh, look at this. This is a pretty good little Mickey lamp right down here. Uh, waving, waving across there. There's even a Disneyland State Fair 1988. Snow White, Snow White Scary Adventures refurbishment. Well, this section over here is known as the Mayberry section. They got some pretty good hats. Check this out here. Taylor Fife over here. And of course, you got to nip it. Nip it in the bud. Some good merchandise through here. Pretty much all the different, a lot of the booths have a lot of the same type of stuff, but a lot of the booths don't have different things. There's like some things you can get like at conventions and whatnot, but then you got these unique style booths where you have a lot of really vintage stuff, a lot of good vintage items through here as well. And there's like a deer head. Are you finding anything? No luck. No, I'm actually. I you mean, went through the whole area, you didn't find nothing. I'm kind of disappointed. You don't need an Apollo 13 VHS? Uh, not another one, no. $35,000 for a Tomorrowland Starjet. So this is like before my time. Oh, this is actually the Magic Kingdom. It's not Disneyland. This is actually from Magic Kingdom. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. the Starjet right there in front of Space Mountain. I'm a big fan of the old school, like Chuck E. Cheese, yeah. Showbiz Pizza. If they have the animatronic figures, they've taken most of them out. There's no more Showbiz anymore, right? Showbiz well, are shows a lot been dead longer. Forever. Although the company, you know, their company name is Showbiz Inc. Inter okay, yeah. yeah. Because they bought uh, Chuck E. Cheese. So this is right next to the antique store. We're going to see if they think they still have them in there? I don't think so because they got the new logo. So this is, a, this is a newer one. I had no idea they got rid of all the animatronics at Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, they did, yeah. No. Okay, confirmed. There are no animatronics in there. And I don't really like the way the new Chuck E. Cheese looks. Oh, dude, it's lame. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean the, what the, was his face? I mean... What made Chuck E. Cheese special was that almost old school Disney vibe, yeah. like a like a like a low rent Disney vibe, yeah. you know, for people that couldn't afford to go to Disney. And now it's just, it's just like, video games. It's like a Dave like, and Buster's, like a small. It's like a miniature David Dave and Buster's like with a, pizza. It's like a crappy Dave and Buster's. Yeah, I was just in this neck of the woods like a week or ten days ago. I think it was may have been last weekend, and I pointed out the hair shanty. Then was at the punk rock flea market over in Lakeland. And my friend Micah from World of Micah recommended this place. I'm sure if Micah was here with us, he would eat quite a bit of Southern food as well, being from Mississippi, like I am. Before I was born in Mississippi, he used to live there too. But over here, this is interesting, I'll point this out. Over next to Fred's, I showed this you know, a week or 10 days ago when I was here. There was like part of an empty bank ATM area, drive through AT ATM that was sitting desolate They've torn it down within the last week or two. Look at that. And this road is not used for anything. Fred's, slow food, fast. This might be a new staple for me, her time in Lakeland. So I love Southern food, look at Sean over here. Taking the load off. You young and quit yelling now, you hear? You gotta say, get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you call me a yank? Yeah. Why not? You like southern food? Hells to the yeah. What we're this, dealing with. That's right. There you go. You know, you've know, watched my videos before. I've seen a couple of them. You've been in a bunch of them. This is what we're deep. Oh, look at this. This is like a pot pie right here. Oh, <laughs> going in some on that. cabbage right here. 
riding around. If we eat this cabbage and we're riding around in the same vehicle, Forget it might be difficult. It might be, I might have to roll the windows down. We wouldn't have to <laughs> get any more fuel though. We have opted for the full buffet instead of the one plate, just because it makes it a lot easier. I think it's only like $17 to the full buffet, I think. $17 each, right? Oh yeah. No, no, $15.95. $15.95? Yeah. So 16 bucks you can go as many times as you want, and there is a quite a bit of food up there. It is now time for dessert. We got the same thing. What exactly? What is like banana cream pie? I think it's bread, a banana. Bread, a put, bread, bread pudding. It's bread pudding with like a banana flavoring on it. All I know is it's got a Nella wafer on it. Yep. I'm down with Nella wafers. Not so. a vanilla wafer, but no, a Nella wafer. Nilla wafer. So if this part isn't that good, I know I at least like that. Yeah. All right, I'm now showing my shadow. We're walking along an un, and along an undisclosed location a pretty good distance from where we just were in Lakeland and I can't I can't give any spoilers because you're gonna have to get to have to stay tuned how long do you think your video will be before your the video of this spot will be out I'm just gonna show our shadows here it's gonna uh, cinematic. a couple years you know what I'm gonna make an effort to get this thing up soon all right I, I am actually going to make an effort to get this video up by yeah. May by May yeah so if you go to Sean Clark, Malfunk Sean, Sean Clark, Horrors Hallowed Grounds, quick search on the platform, you'll be able to see where we're at. Yeah. This is just kind of a segue because we're now heading back over to Disney property, to our hotel. But I always like to show cows and talk to cows. This one's staring directly into my soul. There's another one back there chewing on some hay, which is going to turn into cud. You know the cows chew their own cud? What's cud? Cud, so basically that cow that just... What were you, you're tapping my shoulder? I was wiping a bug you're off. You're wiping a bug off me. So the cow will chew down and it will go into a separate belly. He has two bellies. And then he will regurgitate it back up and eat it as a second meal. That is his cud. Ooh, I would have liked to have done that with that what we had earlier. What was that you place called? You could have. I mean, Fred's. I belched it up a couple times. What's it called? Fred's? Fred's. Fred's. Fred's Hometown I Market. Would, I wouldn't mind coughing up some of that from earlier and having it It again. was pretty dang good. It was good. But I don't know if the ribs and that chicken pot pie would mix well with that banana pudding later. All's one. No, no, Mike. Am I showing too much from this spot? You think people no, will no. figure it out? No. The kids love cows. They love cows, yeah. Yeah, that's it's big with the kids. It's we should get uh, you a lot of likes. We should go. We should head out now and get over to the Grand Floridian. Yep. We got places to be, cows. Nice talking to you. Take a look at this ant bed right here. Woo! Those mean business. You know one thing about Florida, Sean? They don't have there. These ants right here. They don't have these in California. SoCal does not have these kind of ant beds. We used to. When I was a kid, I remember seeing them all the time. What do you think happened to the ant beds since you were a youngin? Uh, they're extinct. Is that? Do you think that's what happened? Yeah. Is they're that like, true? They're like dinosaurs. Oh, I didn't know that. SoCal's known for no ants. Well, we have black ants. We have like, you know, the common But, but they're not red ants. They're not oh, like... no. I haven't seen red ants since I was a kid. So is that true? They really are extinct now? I have Probably. no idea. I just made that up. Oh. All right. We have now arrived back at the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Stay at the villas. Oh, that? Oh, the construction on the new DVC tower, Polly? Checked in a little bit earlier, put our bags in the room. I'll give a quick little room tour. And then we gotta head over to Contemporary Resort Bay Lake Tower. Try to get up to the upper deck where the Villains Lounge is. Happily Ever After returns today. The old fireworks show is back. I always like this lobby here where they have some of the penguins from Mary Poppins. These have a little platter with some tea and coffee cups over there. And the penguins are welcoming all the guests on the way in. There's a pineapple up top. These penguins are just all around in the fountain. Look how happy this, this penguin is right here with a little kettle. Now the room that we're staying on, it's not a theme park view room. It is just a kind of a kind of poolside in a way, but not even a poolside view. But it's over here 
in the villas, which is all the way over here. All right, room quick, very quick room tour time. So we go through, oh, I can see you in the, uh, the mirror here. You going in the facilities? I'm just gonna drop off my toe launches. So this is basically the room. You got two beds, one for Sean, one for myself. I'm probably gonna be in this one. Sean's gonna be in this one. We're cuddling in that one over there. We're gonna cut, oh, look at this, there's a Keurig. So we got some coffee, what kind of coffee they got in here. Mm -hmm. They got the 50th anniversary blend, even though the 50th just ended a couple days ago. Does it say 50th anniversary? Yeah, look, it's, oh. the, it's the Joffrey's blend. Dude, take this, put this on eBay. I could probably get like a nickel. Oh, maybe, maybe 10 cents. But you got the, you got the real, real uh, coffee cups here, not just the styrofoam ones. And it also says, please operate one appliance at a time. So if you're making coffee, you don't want to utilize the microwave. Or you could shut the whole Magic Kingdom down. It could just blow a big fuse. That's a good point. Behind here is a safe, shelves, and whatnot. I mean, I could open it, but you have a lot of stuff blocking the door there. So I just take, oh, whoa, that just blinked. There was a light in here that just went, it just blinked inside. That was weird. Oh, you turn the light on? No, I just put, I just opened the fridge. Oh, do that again. Oh, okay, look, wait, so hold on. Look, look at this, go do it again. Okay. Close it or open it? Oh, did it again, open it. Do it one more time. Oh, oh look, that's weird. That's it's haunted. Short. You're calling me short? I'm pretty, actually pretty tall, six, six three. So this is a pull out couch also. So if someone was staying here, you have like another pull out couch area. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, this pulls out like this. So yeah, this is a pull out couch, which we're not getting pregnant on that couch. Which we're not, <laughs> not gonna be using. And also some Mary Poppin themed stuff here. And this is looking back the other way. And the view is not the greatest view. So it's, you know, it's not a, it's not even, I guess you could say it's a pool view because the pool is there. But basically we're just staying here for one evening. And that's it. In the morning, bright and early, we'll be checking out. And let's see, does this open? Yeah. This opens up right there. There's two seats out here. It's kind of humid. We're going to head over that way, take the monorail over to Bay Lake Tower, which is attached to the Contemporary, and try to see if we can get up to the top to watch the re the rebringing back of Happily Ever After. Like these headboards here, got the light over there that looks like a diamond. Pretty nice, pretty nice room. Even little reading lights. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Oh, it turns on automatically when you just like take it out of the. A little section so there. What, I think what was happening was it was kind of partially open, oh. so it was like jarring oh. and making it flicker. Okay. See? All right. So it's not haunted. No. Unfortunately. Oh, you see? Is, the, is there Gideon's in here? The Gideon's been here? Yep. Placed here by the Gideon's. It's a pesky Gideon. Do you have a human head in there? Like, what do you do? What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bathroom's pretty nice. Here are the bathrooms. There's two sinks. You got a little makeup mirror over here. Nice decorative artwork. You got the H2O Plus Ocean items here. And over here as well. This is kind of what you call magic hour. Well, not magic hour, but... Yeah, I guess you call it magic hour. Golden hour. Even though I um, should be looking the other way where the sun is setting. We're over by the pool. Where there's some new construction over here as well. In fact, someone behind us walking with some flip-flops. That's what that sound is. It is 7.46. Happily Ever After begins at 9 p.m. An hour and 14 minutes. Let's see what happens. We will not be going in the park. I have an AP. Sean does not. So we're not going to spend the money to go in for one evening. We're just going to try to watch the fireworks from the roof. Pretty far on that last one. Right. Heading around six, six the noon. And we did not make any reservations for Bay Lake Tower Village Lounge. So we're just hopefully it's going to happen. Crossing my fingers and crossing your fingers. Just see what happens. All right. Train station. Not going in Magic Kingdom, but I'm going to hopefully be able to see it. If all goes well, we will be on top of that circular thing right in the middle of Bay Lake Tower. 
Lake Tavern, yeah. Contemporary Resort, Contemporary Resort right there. Oh, I think there's a monorail popping out of the Contemporary while I'm showing the Contemporary. It's always nice when that happens. And if we can't get up top there, we'll figure out something else. All right, exiting the monorail inside the Contemporary Resort now. Got the big Mickey ears there from the gift shop. Looking out the window, and I always like this nice neon Mickey's here, the Ford Neon Mickey's. They're pretty cool. Ooh, there's a, one of the Easter eggs here made of chocolate. The partner statue on there's Walt and Mickey silhouetted out there. Right, and we can barely see Walt and Mickey. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Quote, Walt Disney. Yeah, that looks pretty dang cool with the monorail going into the contemporary. And you can see Space Mountain all lit up, Tron, the castle, and hopefully, we're gonna be right up on the top of that route. Yeah, in order to go up, we have to go down first and then check in. I like always this monorail right here. We have to go down to go up, we have to check in at the Disney Vacation Club board. The top of the world lounge. And observation decks. The started access is available to exclusive to Disney Vacation Club members and their guests staying at any DVC resort. And we're staying over at Grand Floridian, property of their property using their membership check-in is located on the first floor so you must go down to go up oh. going down so i think when you're in the contemporary and the elevator opens like mickey minnie pluto or goofy will say something but i think bay lake was the extension contemporary Lord. No, that's definitely not a Disney character so. okay we have made it to the top and i gotta say it is 807 Less than an hour until Happy Life After begins, and there's really not a whole heck of a lot of people up here. I was expecting this to be very full, no elbow room and a real beehive of activity. It really is not. Wow. I guess probably because everyone is in the park. Everyone wants to get that opening night official return of being on Main Street, just being up here. Take a look at the parking lot here at Bay Lake. It is full to the brim. So you got Space Mountain all illuminated. You got the rockets over in Tomorrowland. You can kind of see the people mover go down there as well. Yeah, you kind of see the people mover going by. You can see the castle, and you can see Tron, which I have not been on yet. Sean Clark has not been on yet. Dying to get on. Does it look pretty? Does it look pretty cool from this angle? All looks, illuminated. It looks awesome. You might be able to see the launch if you look closely. So right there, you should be able to see the launch. And then once it launches, you should see in the the bubble to the left. You should be able to see. You can actually see the beam that the ride vehicle's on. So you should be able to see it. You know what though? Usually they launch quicker than this though. Usually they launch. Oh, there it goes. Oh, never mind. That's like I don't know. Usually it launches like every 30 seconds, so it might be down at the moment. Yeah, they may not, maybe, maybe they're not doing it because, you know, kind of anticlimactic to have it open the day before the actual official opening. Maybe. It's been soft open for, uh, I think, two weeks. Before that, it's been annual pass previews for a couple weeks, and then for like two weeks before that, it was cast member previews. I have sat dormant on the whole idea of going on it until it's open, and it's not open yet. It's not totally not open until tomorrow. I like how they change all the yeah. colors. Uh, cool. They're piping all. They're piping all the legacy music in down there. Should we get seats or should we stand here? We should stand. Yeah. Unless you want to sit. We can. Make, well, maybe we stand. Should we grab drinks now? Yeah, we should grab some drinks. So yeah. This, this is a little stance. I can refer to this as a stanchion. Yeah, but we it's can't. open. Oh. Ooh. Just walk in. There. Oh, maybe that's the VIP. I feel like VIP. You feel like VIP? I do. So we asked to see if we could go in Villain's Lounge, and they said they put our name on there, but they can't guarantee we could go in there until after the fireworks are over. After the fireworks are over, I think we might go to Contempo Cafe. So we're not going to go in. Okay, the cast member up here said at 8.30 they could start giving to-go drinks, which means soda. We're going to get like a soda, like a Coke or something like that. So this, oh, check it out. Number nine still says Splash Mountain. Right up there, they have not taken Splash Mountain off of, oh, look, and here's the monorail. Walt Disney World monorail. Highway in the sky. So at 8.30 we'll get a beverage and at 9 o'clock 
fireworks show. That's kind of neat how the sunset has the same coloration hue at the bottom of the monorail does. And as that sunset hue monorail goes in, a neon blue monorail is now protruding out of the other side on the other beam from the contemporary. I, you know, obviously I'm, I'm really fascinated with the monorails, like one of my favorite things. And you can kind of just follow it around and see the golden hour, see the sunset over there. And very soon, a new fireworks show is going to resurface. Really a fan favorite, an annual pass holder favorite. Goodbye to Enchantment. All right, noticing now that the electric light pageant is happening over on Seven Seas Lagoon, which is pretty dang cool. So you got, I think, King Triton at the very end down there. You got the turtle, you got the alligator. I think Elliot from Peach Dragon's in there. Well, you know, it's just changed to the American flags. So basically, the barges that are over there, they have characters and then they'll switch. And they do an America show as well. And they kind of switch back and forth. And that is the water version of the Main Street Electrical Parade, but it's called the Water Pageant. And there's still no launching of Tron, but they do have, they're doing different light projections and designs that are kind of flickering across the top. I would imagine probably riding Tron at night would probably be a little more exciting view wise than riding it during the day, but probably both ways probably pretty good, but I imagine at night is probably more of a visual thing. I don't know why it's not launching, it's weird. Oh yeah, I also forgot, so they have the character ones, and then they also have the US flag one, and they also have the dragon one. The lengthy dragon, a dragon, a dragon. I swear I saw a dragon, and from here I'm zoomed in where we're staying over there at Grand Floridian across Seven Seas. Bay Lake is behind where I'm standing at Bay Lake Tower. So there's Bay Lake, there's Seven Seas. Sean has been waiting patiently for about 15 minutes to go get a co couple of icy cold Coca-Colas. Waiting patiently to get in for the to-go. Walk up to the to-go bar. I think, he's getting, I think he's starting to get aggravated. He's waiting over there. He's gonna get a couple icy cold Coca-Colas. Just kind of curious to see how long he's testing his patience here. See his reflection in there. I think he might be his time to go in. I'm holding down the spot here. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. He's going in. I am holding down the spot right here for both of us. That way we'll be able to watch here because we want to have a spot right here on the railing. So he's grabbing the beverages. I'm holding down the spot. I think I probably need to like spread out way like nobody else gets in here, so I'll do like the spreading of the feet. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you don't look happy. <laughs> Sorry I made you do that. <laughs> what was that, like 15 minutes? That was wild. It was 15 or 20. Well, thank you for the, thank you for the eight ounce Coke. <laughs> Definitely worth the wait. It's gonna be a great beverage. But has all this has Disney gone no plastic straws in the whole park? Oh yeah, they might have gone paper. I'm not sure. I hate paper straws so much. I'm not a big paper straw guy either. Reason for me to hate you take a you take a sip on it and it's the experience all right up here. Seven. They kind of are right because you're Disney. Yeah. There's no fee to get up here, but you have to be a Disney Vacation Club member, and you have to be yeah. staying at one of the DVC so, like, resorts. Nobody could just walk up here for free. You have to be feeding the mouse. Right. Feeding the mouse. I'm looking, it's like six minutes until the fireworks show starts. Quite a few people are standing, so a lot of people are standing over there, at that little area, and then also a lot of people are up on the contem contemporary little like overlook, see that right there. Kind of going all the way up to the, almost the, the top different floors. I've stood up there before. In fact, I stood up there the day before the 50th kicked off and watched the fireworks. So I stood up there before. It was a year, it was 18 months ago. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people up on top of the roof of the Contemporary California Grill too. So anyone that's eating at the California Grill can go out of this little ledge too and watch as well. From well, they had these over at the Grand Floridian that I showed the other day, but they also have them here at Contemporary. 
Resort, which is pretty cool. Check this out. Oh, check it out. There's a Tron egg right here. There's a Tron egg right there. There's a space adventure with Stitch, but here's a Tron egg as well. So I want to talk about Happily Ever After. Pretty good. They uh, so looking at the Mary Blair wall here as well. But Happily Ever After was Happily Ever After was awesome. Um, they piped in the music at the top of the, I want to say the DVC lounge, not the DVC lounge, just the villain's lounge. But you have to be a DVC member and you have to be staying at one of the resorts on the night that you're going up here, to up there to watch it. And, you know, you can have, you can have me, a DVC member, but also a guest. So Sean came up here with me and we watched, we watched the Happily Ever After from up top and they piped the music in and it was definitely a, a full crowd of people and I had forgotten how good it really was and how, how many great songs that I knew. I really liked the music. I think a lot of the fireworks shows that people really latch on to kind of, you, know, you have to have the kind of the right emotion and the right music and, and all that. And I think that the Happily Ever After really kind of showed that. And I'm definitely going to keep be back back up to the the top of Bay Lake Tower again to watch, to watch more of them. Pretty awesome. Happily Ever After. It's back. And I, for one, I'm pretty glad about it. So what does this carpet remind you of? Well, it's shiny. Right. Yeah. Just a different color scheme. Yeah. You can picture a Danny Torrance right here with his toys. His little car. You know, his little toy car. Yeah. <laughs> Come and play with us, ball, Danny. Ball, ball rolls up. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Another fun fact, you know uh, Richard Nixon and the uh, I Am Not a Crook speech? It happened right here. In this, no, in, this, in this door. They were actually having something going on in there. The uh, Imagination Campus was practicing the, the band and whatnot. But this is like, I don't know, there's a little contemporary sticker here. But yeah, Richard Nixon gave the I Am Not a Crook in the Ballroom of America. So you never knew that before? I did not know that. And I just thought it was kind of interesting with what's going on in our current climate. Yeah. And Mr. Trump also being in Florida. Oh, is he? What timing? Yeah, Mar-a-Lago, baby. Yeah. I mean, well, I think he, the, he might be already has already gone to New York but but it's just interesting timing that you showed me that right yeah. now on today the day they said he was going to be arrested oh I don't know I'm not we're not trying to get pulled actually I, did, I didn't even know I didn't even know that was happening yeah that shows you how much I pay attention <laughs> and now on to the resort monorail I'm gonna guess that not many people are gonna get off of this however because everyone is exiting the park going over to TTC after the fireworks are over hopefully we can cram on this we're gonna go over to the poly get a little Captain Cook's Late Eve snack for retiring for the evening. Back to the yeah. We have been dropped off now over at the Polynesian Resort. They got the tiki torches going on. Tiki, what are they called, right? Tiki torches. Yeah. All right, we are going to go inside Trader Sands. All right, so standing room at the bar. They're kind of like interested in maybe getting a Dole Whip at some point. It's been a long time since I've been in the Florida version of Trader Sam's. I've been to the one in California many, 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 many times. The one in California. Or the one in Florida. What am I saying? I've been to the one in California many, many, many times. But the one in Florida. I haven't been, I think I've only been in here one time. Do they have Dole Whips here? Do they have them more than one in California? You got a little pink flamingo there. A little floaty, and then you got the squid tentacles going up there. Let's check out Kirk Douglas here. All the theming that is through here. Got the window over here with the volcano. Look all the stuff behind the bar too. So no Dole Whips? I don't drink. I don't think so. I like the Nautilus though. Oh wait, hold up. With Dole Whip. Pineapple. So it's, it's so, so they have a, a drink that has Dole Whip. Or if you can just get non virgin, virgin Dole Whip. Yeah. Should we ask? They call that a, a faux Whip. Yeah. No, I don't. No, a Dole Whip. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, well, not. What fun. do they call that? Van No Whip. There's like something <laughs> named for going to a bar and getting a non-alcoholic drink. I can't remember. I'm looking up here on the shelf. What is? Okay. 
Uh, I'm instructed to go over to Pineapple and I for a Dole Whip. I guess you can't get a non-alcoholic. Uh, so with that being said, if you want to get Pineapple and I, uh, if you want to be on the other side of Catholic Hoops, so if you walk outside, you walk this way, it's like right before you walk into the... I think we're going to go get a regular Dole Whip. It's pretty much standing room in here too, so... Thank you. If there's any extra, uh, we can come around. Alright, we're going to exit out. I just wanted to kind of show a little bit more of what's going on around here before we head out. It's such a cool vibe in here. It's starting to get kind of late in the evening, maybe. Another time when I have a little more time to dedicate to coming in here and relaxing and maybe enjoying the ambiance. Oh, look, there's an orange bird over there. There's a pirate over there. All this stuff on the South Seas Club. There's the Nautilus up top as well. Got all the cheeky goodness in here. Oh, look up here. Check that out. There's a real funny thing. Man, I love tiki bars. Oh, they get ready to dive down. They're counting, counting, down, diving down. Doing the dive. Dive, dive, dive. We're under the water now. We're swimming. Everyone's swimming. Man. How cool is the freaking place? How freaking cool. Okay, we were instructed to come over to Pineapple and Nye. I think the bartender thought they were open until 11, but I think they close at 10 tonight. We checked the app and it's 10. What was his Seven. next? Sorry. Huh? What was his next idea? The next idea? He said that they're at the pool side. They have the pool. A, he said they have like a smoothie version. That's just All right. Let's try that. We'll get that, then we'll walk back over to Grand Floridian. Feels good out here. All right, we are now. This is the Express monorail. Going from Magic Kingdom back to TTC. We're waiting on the resort monorail to come this way. And then we're going to head that direction over one stop to the Grand Floridian. And we had no luck on the Dole Whip. The pool bar was closed also. And the outside Trader Sam walk up window said that there's no Dole Whips after 10 p.m. on this evening. This is fine. I've had a Dole Whip before. You've had a Dole Whip before. Yeah. But you'll have another one. You wanted one though. I haven't been to the Anaheim Disney in a long time too. So I was kind of looking forward to it. Yeah. You gonna dream of Dole Whips tonight? Yep. Well, for Mario Green, our next stop will be the Grand Floridian Resort. If you're standing, please hold on the silver handrails and never lean against the automatic doors. Thank you. What's that? All right, it is a peaceful night. The peaceful night. There's some folks swimming in the pool over there. We're heading over to the little section. I think it was called Big Pine, right? The sure. Big Pine DVC area. Oh, oh yeah, I think so. I Big remember. Pine. I didn't see a Big Pine. So this, this is just a little subsidiary section over there, and they're doing some construction over there for a new wing. And then, of course, the main area that we just walked through, right over there. And then uh, the pool over there. But we're gonna we're gonna crash for the evening. See you in the next video. The vlog. This is our, that pool looks amazing at this hour. Let me take a little dip, a little late night dip, a little swimmage in the evening hours. Probably just gonna like probably crash. I'm pretty tired, but yeah. It's a nice pool. Did you bring your bathing suit? Always, baby. Right here.